He's the coolest actor around and has played some of cinema's baddest motherfuckers. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger those who attempt to poison and destroy my brothers. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our top 10 favorite Samuel L. Jackson performances. Number 10, Ray Arnold, Jurassic Park. Kicking off our list is perhaps Jackson's most smoking performance to date. As the chief engineer at Jurassic Park, Sam's character runs the main control center. When the park's systems begin shutting down, thanks Newman, Mr. Arnold works furiously to contain the situation as it crumbles around him. Please! God damn it! He even ventures out into the raptor-infested park to get the job done. I don't know about you, but in that situation, I'm not sure if I'd lend a hand. Oh, Mr. Arnold. Number 9. Lieutenant Danny Roman, The Negotiator As the top hostage negotiator in Chicago, Jackson plays a cop who takes crazy chances. When he uncovers a police embezzlement plot and is framed for murder as a result, he confronts the FBI the only way he knows how, by taking hostages. Don't patronize me, man. I know you don't think I'm innocent, so don't tell me I want to do everything I can to help you get out of here. Jackson's performance is pitch perfect and still keeps us on the edge of our seats. All right, keep talking, asshole. You've already done everything wrong. Number 8, Mace Windu, Star Wars Prequel Trilogy. This prequel film trilogy is filled with cardboard-like acting and overused special effects. Remember, Obi-Wan, if the prophecy is true, your apprentice is the only one who can bring the Force back into balance. Thankfully, Sam's involvement as a Jedi Master is a breath of fresh air. Plus, you gotta love that purple lightsaber. Jackson himself asked for it specifically, so he would stand out from the other Jedi. Bonus points for being one of the only Star Wars characters with soul. This party's over. Number 7. Neville Flynn, Snakes on a Plane As an FBI agent assigned to protect a witness on a flight to LA, Jackson finds himself fighting off an unusual and frightening assassination attack. His role as an angry and often frustrated badass is pretty much how we picture him in real life, including all the outrageous lines he manages to throw in that we're sure have never been used before or since. Well, that's good news. Snakes on crack. Number 6. Ordell Robbie, Jackie Brown. Jackson is always perfectly cast when involved in a Quentin Tarantino project. You got damn right. Here, he plays a womanizing, gun-loving arms dealer with a ponytail. I got some for your eyes only shit to show you. Why don't you step outside? Don't make him mad because he'll put his foot in your ass. He is deceivingly friendly, but will sacrifice friends when they interfere with business. Number 5. Mr. Senior Love Daddy, Do the Right Thing. Here I am. Am I here? You know it. It, you know. This is Mr. Senior Love Daddy doing the nasty to your ears, your ears to the nasty. Eyes only play the platters that matter, the matters they platter. And that's the truth. Root. If you have seen this Spike Lee film, then you're lucky enough to have had Jackson do the nasty to your ears. Samuel L. raises the temperature as the radio host who narrates the entire film's soundtrack from his studio. From his eccentric radio call to the unique way he turns a phrase, Jackson makes the racially charged events of this film jibe together on the hottest day of the summer. Number 4. Nick Fury, Iron Man 2, Captain America, The Avengers Jackson's portrayal of this iconic comic book character has been so memorable, the artist decided to model the drawing after him. Not only that, but his many gripping cameos as Nick Fury have helped tie the various threads of the Marvel Universe together. I'm here to talk to you about the Avenger Initiative. With or without superpowers, we can't help but dig this tough-as-nails, leather-clad super spy. And man, are we psyched he's getting his own movie. Number 3. Zeus Carver, Die Hard with a Vengeance Poor Zeus. He becomes crazed cop John McClane's reluctant partner just because he's a good Samaritan. The character of Zeus Carver is unique because he's an African-American trying to overcome his prejudice towards white people. That role also single-handedly helped change the Die Hard movies from lone wolf flicks to awesome buddy cop films. Damn, McClane, you know, I was just starting to like you. Number 2. Elijah Price, aka Mr. Glass, Unbreakable. Elijah Price is born with a rare disease that makes him extremely frail, and he continuously searches for the one man who is as strong as he is weak. But it's the dark secrets this character holds that make him such a fascinating character. 
While many of the entries on this list are typical Sam Jackson performances, i.e. he's a badass mofo who yells all the time, Mr. Glass is a unique, quiet, and introspective role that allows the actor to shine in a completely new way. Now that we know who you are, I know who I am. Number 1. Jules Winfield, Pulp Fiction Taking the top spot on our list is the part that earned Jackson an Oscar nomination for Best Supporting Actor. This Jerry Curl wearing hitman is the quintessential Samuel L. Jackson role. Check out the big brain on Brad! You're a smart mother that's right. The metric system. Jackson has never been as badass, foul-mouthed, well-spoken, or plain quotable as he is here. Shit, Negro! That's all you had to say! We can't imagine any other actor being as intimidating while finishing your soda or quoting the Bible. Do you agree or disagree with our choices? What's your favorite Samuel L. Jackson performance? I don't remember asking you a goddamn thing.